Okay, let's talk about some practice drills for your serve. And a couple things I want to caution you against. Number one, I really don't want you hitting more than 50 serves where you actually make contact with the ball. I don't want you doing that more than, say, 50 times per section. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ask you right here, you know, 40, 50, 60 max, something like that is really you know the most that you want to hit in one practice session. I see some people they bring the basket out here, they get the shopping cart with 300 balls and you know after 150 they go, "Hey Brent, gee, my elbow hurts." And I go, "Well, hello. Uh, of course it hurts." You know, this is this is really, you know, a, a, a motion that that really has to be learned properly and and if you don't learn it properly, you can do some damage to your elbow and to your shoulder. So, here's the deal. 50 serves per session max, and I would say depending on how your arm is feeling, I'd go no more than twice or three times a week with your, with your, with your practice sessions. The other thing I want to caution you against is that many of the serving drills that I'm going to, I'm going to advise that you kind of go through, don't be critical of where the serves are actually going. There's only one drill where you want to do that, and that's going to be when you put a target. Maybe you've got a cone or you put a bag or a racket cover out there as a target. You know, that's when you can sort of be you know, really working on specific placement uh, and, and that kind of thing. But most of the drills we talk about, don't worry if the ball is going in the net, if it's going wide, if it's going deep. You're really developing specific feels of the service motion. And if you get too critical with trying to make sure the serve goes in the box, you'll end up kind of, you know, trying something different just to get the ball in the box as opposed to really working on that specific mechanic. Okay, this drill I want to talk to you about really is, is probably the one drill that you ought to be doing a lot in terms of trying to develop a more of a fluid service motion that you start to try to figure out that this is not how strong you can get, but it's more the tempo, the rhythm of your service motion, and how can you do it in such a way that right about here you pick up racket speed. I can hold four tennis balls at the same time. Most people can only hold three. That's fine. Even if you can only hold two at a time and really be able to control your toss, you can still get the benefit of this drill. And really what you're going to do is you're going to take all the balls in your hand and one at a time you're going to toss, you're going to finish slowly, and you're not going to break the motion. What I want you to do is toss, hit, and stop. I want you to feel that you're getting into a nice rhythm here and you're going to put up one, you're going to put up two, you're going to put up three, you're going to put up four, and you could just keep this nice fluidity going all day long. This is a drill where you don't have footwork in here. This is a drill that's just really designed to give you a sense of rhythm, of timing, of not being strong, of not forcing your serve. So again, if you can hold two balls, that's a max, that's fine. Three balls is better four balls is the best. And just get a feeling that you could go through each one of those balls without stopping the motion you get here, you're not off balance falling. You know, you get back here and you stop for some reason. Let's try to develop a service motion where you keep it going for all two or three or four of those balls that you're tossing. Okay?